So this is the second of the major three steps in problem solving. And um, here, normally, we would ask for, you know, what type of a problem is it, how many ways to solve. But as you will see that this problem is, is kind of too simple. So we don't have to go through all of these steps. We don't have, we don't need to go through all of these steps. So the first question to ask is what type of a problem is it? Um, and, um, you know, we, t we have air, cold air coming in. We have heat generation um, inside and it's talking about temperature. So it's possible that it's an energy balance problem. Now we can uh, think of energy balance problems loosely of two types. One is this distributed system where temperature is not really same all through my domain. So temperature changes with position and of course it can change with time. The other kind is the simpler or lump system where temperature does not vary spatially. So there is only one temperature. Okay, so it is this distributed system that is most of the course is about. So we are going to do these problems that are more involved later on. For now, um, we are talking about systems that we can deal with that has just one temperature. And you notice that in this uh, problem, it's always talking about one temperature. What is the room temperature? So this is kind of a lumped system that is simpler. That temperature, of course, can change with time, but it's simpler uh, because it, it's not varying with position. So quite possibly, this uh, problem that we're given can be done using lump parameter. We're not sure yet, but there's one big hint here. So we just started the course. There is nothing else that we have done. We have only done energy balance, and uh, with energy balance, we can just solve for one at, um, temperature uh, in a uh, which would be a lumped system. We cannot do the distributed systems which need more information as we'll see later. So most likely this will work. Hi, so normally we would go through a step called how many ways to solve this type of problem. This is kind of easy for us now because all we have done is energy balance so hopefully we will be able to solve this problem using energy balance as we just uh, talked. So in energy balance, we define a, a system uh, that has a boundary. It's also referred to as domain um, over which we are going to do this energy coming in, energy uh, going out, energy being generated, and uh, from that we're going to do a balance like this. So in minus out plus generation equal to change of storage because energy is not being destroyed. So of course for this problem we chose to do a schematic that looks like this. Uh, this being the boundary uh, of, of the domain and here is air coming in and the air going out. So we're going to do the balance uh, over this uh, domain, this one. Yeah. 